Hey, what's up guys? Mint City here back again with another video. And today we are reviewing Dark Mist. Now, what is Dark Mist? This is a deck builder available on iOS and Android. Um, it is a premium title, which means it costs you money. So I wanted to make this review um, to help you guys determine whether this is a deck builder or a game that is worth your money. So please leave a like and pop a sub if it help, ends up helping you guys out or if you enjoy mobile gaming content, because that's all I make on this YouTube channel. But let's get right into it. Now, what sets this apart from other deck builders on mobile? Specifically, this one has a column-based enemy s combat system. So what you see on the screen before you is there's different columns of enemies. Now they will move downwards towards the bottom of the screen. Whenever you kill one of them, they will be replaced by the one above them. Now you get to choose which ones to attack with the hand that you are dealt. Now you try to use as many of those cards in your hand as possible, and then you will redraw a full hand again uh, once you run out. Now, um, these enemies will uh, attack in certain intervals, so you'll want to prioritize certain enemies depending on if they're about to attack you or not. They can also have chests or treasure chests, so if you kill them, you get a specific item or card and stuff of that nature. Um, now, another unique thing about the combat of this game is that they will steal cards out of your deck and you won't be able to use them until you kill the enemy that stole the card from you. So that's another unique feature. Sometimes uh, the synergy of your deck will be completely ruined if it's based off of one card or it'll ruin the consistency of it because they have a card. So it gives this weird uh, uh, mechanic or I, I guess what really starts to happen is that you have to prioritize certain enemies and decide which enemies to kill off first. It's really cool. Uh, it, it provides a layers of strategy in a way that I haven't really experienced um, in a deck building game before on iOS. And those are the two main things that uh, set this game apart from other deck builders. Aside from that, this has all the normal stuff like different classes that start you off with different cards and different, uh, different cards in your deck and uh, in what ways you will be building your deck. So, and you can unlock more depending on what you do and how far you make it in the game. So everything else is pretty much standard fare other than the column enemy combat mechanic as well as them stealing cards from your deck, which is really cool in my opinion. Now, the things that I think are bad, uh, I do love the art style, don't get me wrong. It has a dark fantasy theme and I think it's very well done. But the menus and stuff and the loading screen and stuff like that, it just seems very cheap, very flash animated like uh, very indie, which I don't mind. It doesn't bother me, but maybe it'll bother other people. But this is made by a, a developer who has made one other deck builder that's more in the Slay the Spire category um, with a unique twist to it. So if you guys want me to check that out, which I already have, uh, or make a review or make a video on it, just let me know in the comment section down below. But I do like this developer. They make solid premium card games, in my opinion. Uh, and this one is definitely worth a buy, especially if you guys enjoy deck builders with a small, simple twist to them. But anyways, please leave a like and pop a sub if you guys are new or you enjoy mobile gaming content, or if this review helped you. I tried to keep it really concise. Hopefully it made a lot of sense, and hopefully you guys know whether to buy Dark Mist or not. But anyways, take it easy and stay safe.